I think as hobbyists, we're finally starting to understand the true value of copepods in our tanks. They aren't just an expensive food for finicky eaters, they also play an incredibly crucial role as a cleanup crew. There are over 13,000 species of copepods and they're found in pretty much every single fresh and salt water environment on Earth. Literally translated from the Greek, pod means foot and copa means oar or paddle, so it's paddle feet. No two copepod species are the same. Some are pelagic, meaning free swimming, while others are benthic, dwelling on the seafloor. Some twitch in a way that make them super desirable to fish, while others never leave their rocky crevices. Since each species of copepod has a distinct lifestyle, each species is going to play a different role in our aquarium. Some will be great at eating film algae that grows in our glass, while others are going to be better at eating diatoms. Some will be eaten immediately and require a refugium to breed, while others will just do fine reproducing in our tanks. The most effective way to find success with copepods is to put several species together in your tank. Here's where Algae Barn's Ecopods enter the equation. Ecopods are a balanced copepod community with four different species. First up, you have Tigriopus californicus. These large copepods are loaded with amino acids and omega fatty acids, which make them super nutritional for fish. Females will lay hundreds of eggs during their life cycles, and they contain high amounts of carotenoids, which can enhance the colors of your fish. Tigriopus copepods will also swim in the water column and make a jerky motion, which makes them really attractive to fish. The second species of copepods found in a bottle of ecopods is Tisby bimeniensis. Smaller in size, Tisby copepods tend to inhabit the nooks and crannies of rock, sand beds, and macroalgae. They are largely nocturnal, which makes them better at avoiding being eaten as well as reproducing. Their small mouths are great for eating small pieces of detritus and algae. Next up, we have Apocyclops panamensis. Larger than Tisby pods, but smaller than Tigriopus pods. These intermediate sized copepods are a great food option for your fish, your filter feeders, and your corals. High in protein and amino acids, Apocyclops copepods reproduce every four to six days, which is almost twice as fast as Tisby and Tigriopus copepods. Another benefit of Apocyclops copepods is they lay their eggs before becoming free swimming, which means you not only have a great food source, but they'll also be able to sustain themselves long long term in your aquarium. And the fourth and final species of copepod found in a bottle of ecopods is the one and only Oithona colcarva. Not as commonly found in our hobby, Oithona produce really small naplii and they're not very good at escaping predators. But this does make them really good for feeding your corals, especially soft corals. Thanks to Ryan's groundbreaking biome series, we now know that adding copepods to a brand new system can make the ugly stage never occur. That's because a single, almost microscopic copepod can eat up to 373,000, you heard me right, 373,000 diatoms in a single day. And I didn't just make that number up, it comes directly from the Monterey Bay Aquarium website. Here are a few quick tips for adding ecopods to your tank. First up, add ecopods to your tank as soon as your cycle is complete before you add any other predators. This will not only give them time to pop populate your rock work and your sand bed, but they will also start to consume film algae and a crazy amount of diatoms. Tip number two, when adding a bottle of ecopods, turn off all of your pumps for about 30 minutes. Give them time to settle on the rock work and sand bed without getting sucked into the overflow. Tip number three, feed your copepods phytoplankton daily. Algae Barn makes Ocean Magic, which is a live phytoplankton feed that your copepods will eat up. Tip number four, build your copepods pods a refugium. The best way to create a sustainable copepod population in your aquarium is to give them a safe place to reproduce. Add some sand, some rubble rock, some macroalgae like Kitamorpha, and you'll notice a much hardier copepod population. I can safely say that we here at BRS add copepods to every single brand new system we set up. So whether you're starting out fresh or adding some live food for your livestock, check out Algae Barn Ecopods by clicking here. And as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Happy reefing, be well. We'll see you next time.